experiencing the video video game concept as well as incorporating it into the experience of the movie. Damn, not who I was hoping for. The boys had this very unique idea about the video game that they wanted to make the video game directly related to the movie. Enter the Matrix is written by the boys, directed by the boys, cut by the boys. So they're actually directly involved in the making of the video game, which was their idea from the beginning, which has never been done before. This is Thaddeus, captain of the Osiris. We're going to attempt an emergency broadcast drop in the Matrix. Sparks, I want the ship's guns online right now. Command. First mention of the video game was that it was like a third movie and it had this whole amazing, intricate story weaved into the stories in the movies. Operator. Get me out of here, Sparks. I've got agents right behind me. Oh, I can't watch this. You've basically taken Reloaded and expanded it out into two parallel stories, not just the film, not just the game. They're actually fully connected in every way. Uh-oh, heads up, guys. Incoming. The Wachowskis had a piece of story to tell that they didn't really have time for in a two-hour movie, where they would have told it if they had a three-hour movie, and um, we get to do it in the video game. Get to your exits. I was like, how are they gonna shoot all of this? They're gonna shoot two, three, and this video game script. Everybody has been able to work together to make the most incredible game you've ever played. Larry and Andy insisted that the same, you know, incredible kind of resources that are used on a film set were used for this video game footage. That meant that all the same equipment was used, the same film stock, that the same actors, all the same crew. There were hundreds of people on this set and they're working on a video game. Wu Ping and his crew were working on all the fight choreography of the movie. We're also doing all the fight choreography of the game. We used Master Wu Ping and his team to take fight moves to another degree. It gives such a, an enormous variation to the player. The fight moves we have are so much further beyond your standard kicks and punches that you've seen in a game. They're just sort of mind-blowing moves that Master Wu would choreograph for us. When you're playing this video game, you're actually going to be playing his stunt actors as delivering fantastic three-dimensional fight moves. We could have faked it with some, some um, stunt people in Hollywood, but it just wouldn't have been the same. In this game, we're trying to actually go from beginning to end so that the fight moves end up being unique and different almost every single time. Each character has hundreds more moves than the average fight game, and five, six hundred moves per character. On top of it all, the camera moves were directed by Larry and Andy, so that a cool action moment takes on that flair that it would in a film. In a video game, usually they'll just stick the camera here and it'll attach to the guy's head and it'll follow him perfectly as he moves, which isn't cinematic. Because they wanted to make this more film-like, we had Larry and Andy actually directing the cameras that are in the gameplay, you know, where they exist as characters walk around in the game. There's visual effects in the game. Um, unique visual effects. Uh, the visual effects we're doing for the game, we're, we're treating no differently. They're done to the same level of quality, the same resolution, done by the same companies from the movie. It's good to be home. You're gonna see versions of shots that you'll find in the movie sort of reworked from uh, Ghost and Niobe's point of view. You don't have million dollar visual effects shots in games normally. Ghost create distraction. Movie licensed games, if they're lucky, the character looks like the actor who was in the film, but usually they don't even get the rights to use that likeness. You don't get an engaging performance, and that's something that's entirely new here. Real actors giving real performances, real stories. This mission is suddenly looking very... Listen, I'm gonna take the lead along that path to draw them out. You nail them as soon as they show themselves. It's gonna raise the bar for what people understand to be a fight game in the same way that uh, the Matrix film raised the bar in terms of what people saw as a fight sequence. You do not truly know someone 
until you find them. <laughs> David Perry, who was their personal choice for designing the game, wanted to make a game that no one has ever seen. Movie games are generally not as, as well received because the game isn't quite the experience of the movie. Chinese always sort of prided themselves on not doing sequels or not doing licensed games. Um, when I saw what they did inside their script and the story just goes off, the rabbit hole effectively just starts going deeper, and then, I, then I really bit. So we threw all our sort of corporate philosophy out the window and went after this just because it's, and it's different than a license, you know. We've made a game that has exploration, it has shooting, it has fighting, flying, driving, hacking. And on top of that, you get the hour-long Matrix movie interspersed within the game that you can't see anywhere else. I need to talk to Morpheus. Believe me, Niobe, he needs you. Where is he? Just follow the sirens. Let's go. Larry and Andy actually decided which pieces are going to be dramatic and which pieces are going to be gameplay sections from a perspective of a gamer. They're doing it because they personally would love to sit down and play those sections of the game. Destroy them. You got to see it. I mean, you gotta see it. When you grab hold of those controls and when you, you start punching those buttons, I mean, you'll see you can do things you've never done before. There's a lot of things revealed in our game that this is the only place you're gonna find it out. There's also some glimpses of movie three, which I think you'll find interesting. The brothers made it clear that they viewed the game as not just a merchandising deal like you would do making a Matrix lunchbox, but they really thought of it as what's going to be the most fun for the gamer and what's going to be a really fun game to play. Man, reality can be a bitch. Tell me about it. That is hot. If we fail, Neo fails. So you read a blue on this.